Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, so question four of the 2020 uh, paper two from from this year, last year, the, the, the leave insert that wasn't, was on the circle. So part A, part one. The circle C has an equation x minus one to be squared plus y plus four to be squared equals 25. Find the center and radius of C. Okay, so log tables, coordinate geometry section, um, which is the slope midpoint, all of those pages. If you flick on another page, you'll see that there's a circle section here. Okay, so this is what you need to answer these questions. So I'm literally just taking the piece out of the log tables. I'm just copying it over to here um, to allow me to do this question. Okay, so you can see from here that there is an equation of a circle. Okay, and then it explains what they are. So HK is the center and the radius is R. Okay, so how do I use that to find the center and the radius of this circle? Okay, well, what I do is I write just above it, let me get a darker color, um, I write just above it uh, x minus h to be squared plus y minus k to be squared is equal to r squared. Okay, and I took that straight here from the log tables. And then I match, okay, so my center is hk. Okay, so if I compare then up here, I can see, see the way the minuses match. So my H is a one. Okay, um, so H is one. Now, if I look at K, can you see I have minus K at the top, but I have plus four down the bottom. Okay, so what has happened here is K is in fact um, minus four, okay? So the formula uh, y minus k became y minus minus four, and that's where y plus k came out of in the equation of the circle, okay? But the original center of that circle was minus four, okay? So what you end up doing is, is changing the sign there. So the center is one minus four, okay? Read straight off the equation of the circle. Okay, then the second part, the radius. So a radius is R. So I can say again, comparing these two, that R squared is equal to 25. So R is equal to the square root of 25, which is five. Okay, and there could be as much as 10 marks for that. There could be five marks, there could be 10 marks, depends on the question. Okay, but a nice, nice little question once you know what you're doing. Okay, the next part then is, is actually okay as well. It, a lot of algebra in it, but the question is okay. The point 0.1k is, is on C. Now, you could also get a question like this where the point was on a line and, and it's the same method, it's just a different equation. So what I've done is I've labeled the point x, y, just like I would any other point. It's normally x1, y1, but when I only have one point, it's just x, y. Okay, so I'm going to sub it into the equation of that circle. So x minus 1 to be squared plus y plus 4 to be squared is 25. Okay, so let me sub in my x and my y. My x is 1, my y is k. Okay, don't let the, the k bother you. So I've got 1 minus 1 to be squared plus k plus 4 to be squared is 25. OK, so what did I do there? I subbed in the 1 and the k, 1 for my x, k for my y. Everything else is the same. OK, and then let's go mad with algebra. So 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 squared is 0. OK, so that's easy. OK, and then I have k plus 4 by k plus 4. I tend to always write out a squared like that so that I don't forget to multiply any part of it. So it's k by everything in the second bracket plus the four by everything in the second bracket. So k squared plus 4k plus 4k plus four fours or 16 is equal to 25. 
Okay, I'm just going to come up here a bit. You can see your quadratic forming 4k and 4k is 8k. I have plus 16, I have minus 25 equal to zero. OK, what am I doing? I'm forming my quadratic and you know a quadratic is in the form AX squared plus BX plus C equal to zero. So I had to bring the 25 over this side to have my equal to zero. So let's just tidy him up. K squared plus 8K plus 19 minus 25 is nine, I believe. OK. So the factors of minus nine, that's my guide number that gives me eight. OK, so it's minus nine. So one is a plus. All right. Minus nine plus one. OK, so what signs do I need to give me a minus? Well, I need a plus and a minus. OK, or of course, I could have plus nine and minus one. OK, and of course, I have plus three and minus three, but they're not going to add to give me eight. So the question then is you use the middle number plus eight. All of these are the factors of nine. They all tick that box. But which is the right row that gives you plus eight? OK, so it's this one in the middle. So they are the set of factors that we use. OK, so you're factorizing your splitting, splitting case k squared into k and k. You're splitting minus nine into its factors and the right ones to give me plus eight are plus nine and minus one. OK, so then to solve, you let each bracket equal to zero. And you solve and you solve just means bringing it over the opposite side and it changes signs. So there are two possible values of K. So, th so what does that mean? Well, it means the point one minus nine is on this circle. And it also means the point one one is on this circle. So what does that mean in English? OK, well, OK, th this is not part of the question, OK, but I'm just going to do it to try and explain the language behind what's happening up the top. OK, so it means if I take the equation of the circle x minus one to be squared plus y plus four to be squared is equal to 25 and I sub in the point I'm, I'm picking one one because it's nice and easy. I'm going to get that's my x point. That's my y point. I'm going to sub them in. I get 1 minus 1 to be squared and I get 1 plus 4 to be squared. And I just made up 24, didn't I? It should be 25, OK, is equal to 25. So 1 minus 1 to be squared is 0. I get 4 and 1 is 5 squared is 25 and that works. OK, and you're also going to find that 1 minus 9 works. OK, so again, I'm going to sub it into this equation here the equation of this circle that the point is on. And I'm going to get 1 minus 1 to be squared plus minus 9 plus 4 to be squared is equal to 25. He cancels. And again, I get 5 squared is equal to 25. OK, so that's what it means. This point is on the circle. Find values of k that what we call satisfies the equation of the circle. OK, so those points are on the circle and that means if I draw a circle, they're on somewhere on the circumference of that circle. That's what on the circle means. OK, part B then. OK, so another kind of a common question, and there's a few tips and tricks for doing a question like this. The circle S has the equation x squared plus y squared equal to 13. OK, so remember the formula that we had the last time, x minus h to be squared plus y minus k to be squared is equal to r squared. Well, when I see this one, you see the way there's no minus h and k in this one. Well, h is zero, k is zero because there's none of them there. So therefore, the center of this circle, if I could spell, is zero, zero. OK, so any circle you see that's just x squared plus y squared, it has a center of zero, zero. OK, and that's because h and k were zero. And so that's why they disappeared there. So you were left with just x squared. OK, what I'm also seeing in this one, though, is that my radius is equal to square root of 13. OK, so r squared is 13, so therefore radius is 13. OK, so you can tell all of that just from the equation of a circle. 
OK, now what's it telling me? Well, it's telling me that the point three minus two is on S. OK, the point A three minus two. And, and that's what it means by on S. You can see it there on the circumference of that circle. Find the equation of T, the tangent to the circle at the point A. Give your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C is equal to zero. OK, there's a few ways of doing this. OK, you can see where am I? There's a lovely long formula here that is the tangent to a circle. OK, and I might do that one for you now in a minute, but I'm going to show you another way of doing it as well. And then you can decide which you prefer. OK, so there's a theorem on your course that states that you can always draw, you know, the way a radius comes out to the to the circumference from the center, okay? And you can draw a radius anywhere in a circle, okay? But you can always draw the radius coming out to a point that is perfect, perfectly perpendicular to a tangent, okay? So there's a theorem on your course that said radius to a tangent is 90 degrees, okay? Um, and I've just drawn it in there, okay? So my thinking is, okay, I need to get the equation of the tangent, okay? Um, now, the bit you have to remember is that the tangent is a line, okay? So if I asked you to get the equation of a line, wouldn't you do something like this, okay? Because you have practice of this lots, y minus y1, okay? So y minus y1 equal to m times x minus x1. So to use that formula, we need a point on the line x1, y1. Well, I do have a point on that tangent. It's the point A. And then I need the slope of the line, okay? So how am I gonna get the slope? Well, we also have a slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. It doesn't work on this line, why? Because I only have one point. I don't have another point anywhere along the line to allow me to use that formula. But remember perpendicular lines, turn one slope upside down and you get the slope of the other line. So my thinking is I have a point, two points on this line, zero, zero and A. So if I get the slope of this line and then I turn it upside down and change the sign, I'll have the slope of this line and then I can use this formula. OK, so let's get the slope. That's not right in red all the time. Let's get the slope of zero, zero and A, which is uh, three minus two. OK, so in other words, it's the slope of that radius that I've drawn. So x1, y1, x2, y2. So slope y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 is just the slope of a line. So y2 is minus 2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So what's that? Minus 2 over 3. OK, therefore, slope of perpendicular. That's the sign for perpendicular, which is the tangent, is change the sign, turn it upside down. OK, so now let's use y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. So here we're getting the equation of the tangent. OK, my point A is um, 3 minus 2. And that's my x1, y1. And my slope is what I just found there, 3 over 2. So let's sub them in. y minus y1 is equal to 3 over 2 times x minus 3. OK. The easiest way to do it when there's an fraction here is to bring that number up here so that you get 2 times y minus minus is a plus 3 times x minus 3. OK, so what did I do there? I changed minus minus to a plus. And what in fact I'm doing is multiplying across by two guys. It just cancels here on the right. And therefore, that's where that two comes across from there. But it gets rid of the fractions for you, which is good. 3x minus 9. OK, um, and I'm coming up then to see what form do they want the answer in. So they want the x's first, then the y's, then the numbers. So let's do that. Let's bring over that uh, 2y and it becomes minus 2y. Minus 9 is already on that side. Bring over the plus 4 and it becomes minus 4. And that's equal to 0. So 3x minus 2y 
minus 13 equals to zero is the equation of that tangent. Okay, and you can see I didn't use any fancy circle formulas. Tangent is a line, so I just got the slope of it indirectly and then just use the equation of a line formula. Okay, now, like I said, there is an equation here and, and I'd like to, I'd like to um, try it with you if that's okay, just in, in case, in case um, this is the one you went to in an exam, um, I'd like you to have just a small bit of practice of it, okay? So I'm, all I'm doing here is pasting in that section from the log tables, okay? Um, all right, and I might go back for the question again. Let me. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So, or you could do it this way. Okay, so let's write down this formula, which is the tangent at x, y. Okay, so we have x minus h, x1 minus h, plus y minus k, y1 minus k is equal to r squared. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the stuff that's happening in it. h, k is the center of the circle. Okay. So remember the center of this circle, we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 13. Center is zero, zero, and our radius is root 13, okay? Remember, r squared is equal to 13, so r is equal to root 13, okay? So this hk is the center of my circle, which is zero, zero, and x1, y1, is the tangent at that point. So it's going to be A because it's the tangent at the point A. And you sub nothing in for X and Y, okay? Because you're creating an equation and an equation always has X's and Y's in it. Okay, so let's sub in. So X minus H is zero. So I'm going to label that center HK. I might label it in a different color so you can see it clearly. So this is HK. So that's why I'm putting zero in for H, X one. Um, I should have done that. A is the point three minus two. So that's X one, Y one. So my X one then is three minus zero again, plus Y minus K. Y one is minus two and K is zero is equal to root 13 squared. Okay, so X minus zero is X. Three minus zero is three. Y minus zero is Y, minus two minus zero is minus two, root 13 squared is 13. So I have three X minus two by Y is minus two Y equals 13. So let's give our answer in this form, three X minus two Y, we need to bring over the 13, minus 13 is equal to zero. Okay, so obviously the same answer because it's the equation of the same tangent that we've got. It turns out this way is a lot easier. The formula looks rough, but it turns out to be okay if you can read your log tables. Okay, there is nothing I did in that sum that wasn't in the log tables. Okay, but you've got to be able to practice them and read them. If you are interested in technology or engineering, but are not doing higher level maths, why not consider our Level 7 in Electronic and Computer Engineering? This is a three-year programme that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress on to the Level 8 in Electronics and Self-Driving Technologies and from there to the Masters. Check out the link below for more information.